gentleman who's going to speak next. You might all know his opponent, but now after today you're going to know who he is. Uh, raise your hand if you've heard the name Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> this gentleman's going to make sure we don't hear Lion Liz anymore around here. Jeff Neal. Anybody here have this class A carry? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! You're proud to have your second amendment right? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Thanks for coming out today. Thanks for joining people, not just in Massachusetts, but across the country. Second Amendment supporters, gun owners are out there at state capitals everywhere across the United States today talking about making sure their rights aren't infringed. So thank you for coming out today. Take a look at each other. You guys are your own supporters. And the folks that have been talking, running for office to support your rights, thank them for coming out and thank them for, for running. By the way, folks want to say hi to uh, George Soros is, uh, and Elizabeth Warren, the trackers right there, say hello. It's one of the benefits of running for U.S. Senate, you get the trackers following you. It's nice to, nice to have them out here. Good morning, Liz. We're here to support Second Amendment rights in case you're not aware of that. I'm a proud, licensed gun owner who's running against probably the number one enemy of gun owners in America, Elizabeth Warren. I guess I should say the number one enemy at the federal level because here in Massachusetts, here on Beacon Hill, Maura Healy has that reputation and we need to make sure we get rid of her in, in uh, November of 2018 as well. She spent her days in office going way beyond her constitutional right to ban our rights. But you guys know Elizabeth Warren is no friend to us. Did you guys know that she said you have to be opportunistic when it comes to taking away our gun rights? That's a quote, opportunistic. So that's why she had no shame when she put out a tweet promoting her liberal agenda of banning guns even before we knew how many people had been injured or killed in Las Vegas. Before we even found out, she wanted to talk about banning our guns. She didn't care about the people, just about scoring political points for her brand of liberalism and for running for president in 2020, if you guys aren't aware of that. Her vision for our nation is completely different than our view. This summer she went to Detroit, if you guys saw this, spoke at an NAACP dinner and said that it's law enforcement that continues to terrorize the African American community. She's throwing law enforcement under the bus. After a Bernie Sanders supporter shot Congressman Scalise at that baseball practice, Warren didn't tone down the rhetoric. She said it was um, that Republicans who were trying to repeal Obamacare were looking for blood money. Blood money. She's all about rhetoric and political gamesmanship and she is not about public safety. If she was, she wouldn't be criticizing the police every chance she can and if she was for public safety, she'd support securing our borders. If she was for public safety, she wouldn't be limiting our Second Amendment rights. Did you know that Elizabeth Warren has voted against law-abiding gun owners 93% of the time? She believes more con gun control and banning, and this is a quote, Rambo-style weapons and, and banning uh, magazine capacity. That's what she's more concerned about. On the other hand, I support your rights. I voted against that 2014 bill that was referenced before. I'm the only candidate with an A rating from the NRA and from Gun, Gun Owners Action League. I support the uh, uh, repealing the uh, uh, constitutional AR-15 ban, and I support national reciprocity. Anybody here for national reciprocity? Oh yeah, and I stand for amendment votes. Thank you for that. Look, I want gun owners in Massachusetts to have a voice down in Washington, D.C., and that's why I'm asking for your support today. So please, get involved in the campaign. I have some folks here that have some information. Go to dealforsenate.com. You can get involved. we got to make sure this happens. You've got to get out there and tell your neighbors, your friends, your, your family to vote out Elizabeth Warren in 2000, 2018. So God bless you. God bless your family. God bless Massachusetts. God bless these United States of America.